QR codes was actually invented to keep track of car parts in a factory. Look around you, on menus, packaging, websites, QR codes are everywhere. They seem like a perfect piece of modern digital convenience. But the story of their invention is far less glamorous and much more specific. It's hard to imagine how factory labels became digital links. The year was 1994. The place was Denser Wave, a subsidiary of a Japanese automotive company. They had a problem in their factories. Tracking car parts using traditional barcodes was slow and inefficient. Barcodes could only hold a little information and had to be scanned precisely. Masahiro Hara and his team were tasked with creating something better. They needed a code that could hold more data and be scanned quickly from any direction. Inspired in part by the game of Go, with its simple black and white grid, they developed the Quick Response, or QR code. It could store hundreds of times more information than a barcode, and those distinctive squares in the corners allowed for fast, multi-directional scanning. Their goal was simple, improve efficiency in the factory. But then a crucial decision was made. Denser Wave chose not to patent the QR code. They made it freely available for anyone to use. This decision allowed the QR code to spread. And with the rise of smartphones, it found a new, unexpected life. Suddenly, anyone could scan these codes, linking the physical world to websites, information and payments. The humble QR code, created for a very specific industrial need, became a global tool, all because its inventors chose to share it with the world. A reminder that simple, practical innovations can have a massive, unexpected impact.